my name is Kalax, and here if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys should become patrons over on Patreon to support the channel, but you guys should subscribe and make sure that you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch so you guys can watch me stream. So, today we're going to be talking about Nomad of Nowhere, because I'm like low-key a little concerned, okay? When, when did, how, it's been a while since Nomad, right? Nomad ended in September. Okay. I believe. I think so. It was around then. It felt a million years ago. It was li literally, literally a million years ago, right? And so that's... Or eight months, I'm, but you know, I'm, I'm worried. Okay, so here's how all this started. Is that Fat Man Falling posted something on his Twitter, and it was like the schedule for RTX, but it was from last year, and so we wrote something like, I'm glad that, like, I feel so validated or something like that. Like, that Nomad of Nowhere uh, got its own panel, but Genlock didn't. And so I was like, oh, is that the schedule for this year? And then I started looking and then I realized like no that was the schedule for last year and I got all sad because I was just like oh well that was last year when like Nomad was yeah. um, new and like airing and so I got excited because I thought oh well this is for this year which means you know Nomad's okay and everything's but fine. But I'd also you be concerned of like Genlock is supposed to be your new big like pilot. Well Genlock premiered, remember, in Jan mm -hmm. January, so they didn't have a Genlock exclusive yeah. panel, and nobody knew about it, so they can't really do a panel called Genlock, yeah. and then, you Not know what I mean, because it was sort anything. of announced during, like, the RTX shenanigans, if that makes sense. So, yeah, basically, how this started was I saw that post from the schedule that was last year's schedule, and then I found the 2017 schedule, and, like, thought that that was this year's schedule and it was just all very confusing but yeah but shout you, out to Mikey for making me cry no it's not out yet right and so that's why we're doing this video now right? before we have relevant information that well, could lead us to a more informed I, discussion i suppose but i want to discuss it now because it's sort of like people have been sort of asking about it for a while and we won't know until the rtx schedule is out practically well they may right be, okay because okay. Uh, like Camp Camp had its panel, I think, at, I don't think it was last year, I think 2017 they had a panel, and then obviously last year it seems like Nomad got something or something else. But basically, like, there was one big animation panel last year, and I remember that, like, they showed off RBV, they showed off Camp Camp stuff, they showed off Nomad stuff, I think. And they showed off Genlock stuff, and so it's sort of like, even if a panel, even if the schedule does come out, Nomad won't necessarily have its own panel because I don't think that Camp Camp did last year because at that point it's sort of like Camp Camp's not new anymore like it's it's a couple years old and so it can just get shoved in with everything else you know what I'm saying and so what I'm wondering is like what happened like where, where did this show go because here's the thing Rooster Teeth as far as I know does not like to say that they've canceled something outright like shows just just no, slowly disappear they've done, they've done you know that what I mean? like they said they haven't canceled Heroes and Halfwits, which is their D&D show, they yeah. just postponed it indefinitely. Yeah, and so or, that's what they don't or, like to say that something's cancelled, right? Or it's just like on hiatus forever. At some point we it becomes know. obvious, like they're not going to make another season of The Strangerhood or some shit like that. You know right? what I mean? And so that's why I'm they're like... They're not making crunch time if, too. If Nomad is never coming back, it's just feeding into people's false hope. <laughs> you know what I mean? If that makes sense. And the creator left. Right, but I think Nomad's story is sort of clear enough and all that. You don't need the creator anymore. No offense to him, like, he created something, like, that I think is really good. Like, I think Nomad is a great show. But it's sort of, like, in terms of the plot, it's pretty much outlined. Like, they're gonna go do the four things. Like, the four commanders or leaders or whatever they're called. Like, the four, like... Generals. Yeah. Henchmen generals of, like, the bad guy. And then they're gonna go kill the bad guy, I'm assuming. Like, that's just sort of where we're going, right? And so it's sort of like, they know where they're going. They have sort of an outline, I'm assuming, because even the characters know that that is their sort of mission, if you want to call it that. And so I'm like, I'm not concerned that because the, cre the creator left, the show has been cancelled. Because I don't think that that would happen. I think that somebody could easily just take it up unless there are like legal issues which i did like i don't think it would be i don't think i don't he think may so. be the if creator he, of it but he probably like if he still made it with the them Rooster for Teeth, them yeah. it's for rooster teeth right so that shouldn't be a problem but i'm sort of just like i'm worried because i love the show so much and it's just sort of like what if they just postpone it indefinitely and then we're all just waiting here like hoping you know what i mean and so that's why i wanted to do it before the rtx schedule came out for two reasons is because for one right just because nomad of nowhere like doesn't have its own panel doesn't mean that it's canceled it may be shown in another panel like where they show a bunch of like the animation like 
everything. You know, because Ruby gets its own panel. I think last year maybe RVB had its own panel, but other than that, everything just sort of squished into a big animation panel. I think the only time it would get a new panel would be if it's new, because I think Camp Camp got one in the 2017 year or something, maybe the year before. I don't know. There's just so many fake, like, not fake, but there are schedules from, like, years ago floating around, like, here's the 2019 schedule, and I'm like, nope, that's 2017, <laughs> right, or whatever, and so there's that, but if the RTX schedule comes out and it is on there, it's sort of like, that gives us some new, some new hope, you know what I mean? Cause I'm just, I'm like, I'm concerned and nobody said anything about it either. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like people have posted sort of on Twitter, like the, I don't think so anyway, or at least I haven't seen it, like the people that work on the show. And I know last year, here's, here's like the tea or the reason why I'm making this video is cause last year, I think one of like the Rooster Teeth employees kept com like kept commenting on our reaction videos. And so I'm hoping if they have any inside tea, they'll see that we're worried and be like, don't worry, Cal, like Nomad will be acting. You're going to get face. someone's. You know, Fired I mean, is what you were going I'm to do. Saying, well, no, it's have they released merch for? No, yes, no, they have. There's so, been minimal merch, I think. Let's so it's not a lot. Certainly not as aggressive as like it is for, for like Ruby, right? Ruby or Chief and Hunter. Also, no, it's not like like that. It, so that person wasn't giving me like inside info. They just said, oh, they found out he was a scarecrow off screen. Like just answering questions. They're like, thanks for doing a reaction. You know what I mean? So it was nothing. Here's the photos of Gus Sarola's colonoscopy. Exactly. The no, no, no. A lot like of that. company secrets. Yeah, have. obviously, clearly. Uh, but no. Okay, so Nomad of Nowhere has, let's count. <laughs> it's loading. Okay, so Nomad, Nomad of Nowhere has, oh my god, they're all 40% off. Oh, no! that's not oh, a good that's sign. That's not good. Oh my god. Okay, so. Well, they weren't one, selling. Two, three, four. I mean, were you five, buying six, those good beans? Oh. Seven. There's eight pieces of merch. And they're no. all on sale. Can I see it? It's too bad because, you know, some of these look cute. Like the little critter hat. That's cute. I'm so... geometric nomad. I'm so sad because that's like... Okay, so Ruby merch... Oh, it's a plush. It's a Ruby pack merch goes plushes. on sale, right? But I feel like as soon as something goes on sale, that means that it's like... For like merch for a show, that means like the show is a relic. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I think it's just that you need to cycle through new stuff, right? I guess. And I feel like they like... haven't they haven't done another one, so they're. Well, that's the nature of the beast. If people just weren't watching it in in a way that people watched Camp Camp or. I mean, because they also are not doing new they, episodes they of Sex Swing or of like they don't X Ray and like, They don't release shit. the view numbers, so we'll never know. That's well, the that, problem, that. right? But it's like. Like, Eruption Fang did videos for Nomad. We did videos for Nomad. Like, a bunch yeah, of YouTubers did videos for Nomad. But I'm saying, and, though, and, But when people think of you or the think only, of Eruption I'm Fang, saying, they don't think of Nomad of Nowhere videos. They yeah, think of Ruby videos. right. But I'm saying, like, we covered it. And the only reason why you would want to watch somebody's reaction video, right, unless you're just trying to watch the episode for free or whatever, like people tried to do with Genlock, it's like the only reason why you would watch a reaction video is because you already liked the show and want to see people's reactions to certain moments. You know what I mean? So that's sort of my Dude, argument. As someone, is that there's a difference a between a review a... where you may have never watched it but want to know how good it is as opposed to a reaction where it's sort of like the only reason you'd watch a reaction is because you already liked the thing and you want to check up on how somebody else reacted and if it was like you did, right? And so that's why I'm using us as an example. Nobody would be watching our reaction videos if they didn't give a shit about the show. You to be fair, I, I really don't know why people watch well, any reaction videos, business, including yeah. ourselves. The 40% off all the merch, that's scaring. Like, legit, like, that's scaring me. And I know they have to cycle through, but it's like all of them are on sale. It's not like, oh, there's a sale on a couple of them like there are with Ruby. Like, oh, this shirt but just wasn't Ruby selling. But Ruby keeps on, they I'm keep on releasing like, new merch. I know, and so the old ones go on sale, but I'm saying there are no new ones for this. It's like all the old ones are just, they're trying to like get them out. Let's look at Camp Camp just to see, because Camp Camp isn't in season either. It will be again soon. I have some Camp Camp merch. Maybe, you know what? I'm gonna, I hope that there's Nomad merch at RTX, but like, if there's not, I'm gonna snag some off uh, the website. Okay, so yeah, none of the camp camp stuff is on sale. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, you also have to go down a little where to find. Oh, the okay. Sale so stuff. a backpack is fifty percent off. The plushie is forty. There are okay. So there are two shirts, but the majority of it, like out of oh, all no. the merch, no, all that stuff is. 
twenty percent off. That's a like the mug and the book. And yeah, the hat. these are these are yeah. all off. Yeah, now but there's the, pages but of there it. there is the first like the first half though. I'm saying like well, the right difference half, is, is that that stuff is new. I know, stuff. but I'm saying as like the first half of it. What right, should be the issue is that Nomad is Nowhere does not warrant them making more merch. Well, yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to get part. at is that obviously like you know with Camp Camp they're cycling out and like a bunch of the old stuff is on sale. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to like get to I guess is that camp camp has like 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 three or four or five rows of new stuff that is not on sale and then all the old stuff is whereas for nomad literally everything that comes up in the search is on sale you understand what I mean like that's where I'm just like honey <laughs> that makes me so sad you know because obviously like I obviously they have to put stuff on sale right if you know, they're older, they have, like, I don't want to say leftover, but if it is le sort of leftover, but the thing is, Camp Camp has one entire page of merch that is more than ten, because I think Nomad only has ten pieces of merch. Nomad has ten pieces and all of them are, are on sale. Camp Camp has, like, twenty, and maybe a third of them are all on sale, or maybe even half, right? Which is, like, that's, that's at least a little better, so I'm just, like, rooster teeth, all right? help like yeah, I want to know I just want to know that it's okay and if it's not like I feel like they should say so like if it's never coming back don't string us along emotionally because <laughs> I really like a lot of us really love the show and so it here's the thing so though sad. I feel like if they were doing another season they would announce it at RTX right so, so I that's like what we have to wait for reasonable right? to wait for RTX yeah it definitely is but at the same time we know camp camp's getting another season mm -hmm. We, well, Camp Camp's very popular. We know Genlock's getting another season. Genlock was also Ruby's very popular. Ruby's obviously getting another season. Also and so the thing popular. is, it's like, can't, like, when they, they announced, like, when Camp Camp would start, and they said it would start in June, and then I think they announced that Ruby Chibi was coming back, but didn't say when, but they didn't mention Nomad, like, in a community post from months ago, which also got people worried, so it's sort of like, it's not like they only announce new seasons at RTX, like, they also do it in the blog post. So the fact it wasn't mentioned in the blog post, and like we don't know what's happened to it you understand i think that's also worrying people you know what i mean just because it's like they i don't remember what it was but they announced a bunch of stuff was coming back and they didn't mention nomad and so it's sort of like oops like that's a little that's a little yikes so yeah let's hope for rtx but i just wanted to do i guess this is like an update video but it's been like you know, Nomad just not been around forever, and so it's sort of like if something but happens at RTX, show. like we don't need to, like we don't need to worry. But at the same time, it's like I don't think there's anything wrong with like sounding an alarm that like something may be going on here. You know, a little bit of he ahead of time, if that makes sense, because it's like it has been almost a year, right? Like since we've gotten any news about the show when we've gotten like confirmation for camp camp and sort of mm -hmm. those other things mentioned in the community post a while back so it's like <laughs> Honey, I hope it's okay. I really enjoy the show like this is I make like I'm basically just campaigning for them to make another season of nomad I feel like there's other more pressing issues not for me. Us. This is this, this is the one that I'm that I'm focused on but yeah, so that's it that's all I wanted to say, I guess. I'm just... I just seem sad. See, I know, because seeing all that merch on sale does not give confidence in me. Like, Ruby merch does go on sale a lot. Because here's the thing. Yeah, margins for clothing are very, very low. Like, the margins on, on merch clothes, if that makes sense. Or clothes in general. Like, the margins are pretty low, so companies can afford to do, like, really, like, low, like, high sales on them, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's sort of like... <laughs> If everything from a specific show is on sale, that sort of tells me that something is not, not Gucci over there. <laughs> so yeah, that's my thoughts. I'm gonna go buy some Nomad of Nowhere merch, because it is, I'm, it is on sale. My mom's like, before you buy $1,000 of merch again, can you at least make sure that it's on sale this time? And I was like, yeah. Oh, uh, not yet. Okay. You really did fuck up with buying all that merch right before two pretty major sales. I know. That was, like, that crushed me. And I was just like, could I just return it all and rebuy it during the sale? No. But, yeah.
so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys later bye Thank you guys for watching and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you to all of our wonderful patrons and our YouTube membership members who have joined using the join button that is under this video or on my channel page. You guys may be wondering what do patrons and YouTube membership members get? YouTube membership members for $5 get access to my Discord server, they get a bunch of cool emotes, and they get early access to all of my videos. $10 patrons on Patreon get early access that is more than a week in advance. So sometimes we do videos like weeks in advance or even a month in advance. And so they'll get those videos way, way earlier, right? And they also are able to make requests. And so if they want us to do a shipping video or a reaction to an anime or to cover some sort of theory or to discuss something, they can ask for it and we will do it. On Patreon, $5 is early access a week in advance and $1 is for the Discord server. I hope that that helps. Again, thank you to our wonderful patrons over on Patreon and I hope that you guys will join up soon. I will see you guys later. Bye.